Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to do a tabletop review of CZ's excellent CZ75B. This one started life as a high polished stainless, but I sent it off to a company called Titanium Gun and had them coat it in their beautiful titanium gold finish. Now just for you uh, out there, just so you'll know that this is a already been safety checked. But they coated it in their beautiful titanium gold finish. I had them coat the magazine. I had them coat pretty much everything. I had them coat the, the barrel, all the small pieces. I didn't do the sights. I like the way the black sights look. But everything else has been coated in their titanium gold finish. Now, this is a functional finish. You can get it gold plated anywhere, but don't shoot it because you can flake that gold off. With titanium gold, it's a different thing. The titanium gun... They titanium coat this with this beautiful gold finish. They have different finishes. They have a high polish and a matte finish. I, I chose the high polish because this started life as a high polish stainless gun, but it's just beautiful. It's a, uh, again, it started life as a standard CZ75 high polish. But I sent it off to get it gold plated. It's something I've always wanted to do. I don't know, playing years of Golden Gun on Nintendo or something. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I wanted a gold plated gun. But it's just beautiful. Everywhere I go, it gets attention. Anytime I take it to the range, four or five people want to look at it or touch it or shoot it. So if you're looking to get a gun that gets a lot of attention, this is the way to go. Now, having said that, this titanium finish is stronger and more durable and more impervious to resistance, or more impervious and resistant to environmental salt water, you know, any kind of hazards. The only downside though is it's a nice shiny finish. So you start fingering it and you get all kinds of fingerprints on it. But it's extremely, extremely functional. It's one of those guns that I take out every every once in a while just to touch it because it looks so damn beautiful. Now these CZ-75s, as most of you know, um, they were designed in 1975 and the CZ-75 was kind of their, uh, their flagship pistol. It's a nine millimeter pistol. This one's chambered in nine millimeter. Um, but the CZ-75, the stainless one, the 75B in stainless was CZ's first stainless steel firearm. Um, in my opinion, it's just downright beautiful, but it uh, it needed a, a little bit more beauty. <laughs> so I sent it off and got it, got it finished. But I did everything, everything on it. It cost me, I want to say about 450 bucks to get everything done. And with, with them, you can send it all whole to them and they'll take it apart or you can take it apart and send it in pieces. If you send it in pieces and they send it back in pieces, it's considerably faster. If you send it whole and they have to put it back together, I think they have a gunsmith that comes in once a week or once every other week. And it takes a little bit longer is what they told me that you're looking at another two or three weeks of lead time to get it back. And I wanted it back as quickly as possible. So I sent it in pieces and I put it all back together myself. But I just kind of wanted to give you a quick look at it, a little tabletop review, if you will. Um, I'll post a link to that titanium gun website and I'll post a link to CZ's website for their high polished stainless. Um, accuracy wise, they're great shooting guns, incredibly reliable guns, incredibly accurate. Um, I've, had a, I've had great success with it. I've had a great time. I own a lot of CZ guns and I own them because they just go bang every time I pull the trigger. But I just wanted you to get a look at my golden gun. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care and God bless.